Alleluia, Christ is risen, Christ is risen indeed, Alleluia. Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, through the power of the Holy Spirit, amen. Fire, ah, yes, fire. One needs to be careful when one is working with fire. Indeed, at the beginning of every preschool chapel service, I will use that barbecue lighter to, to light the, the snuffer that the acolyte will use. And I will tell the children not to play with fire. Be very careful. Adults only are to use this gift. Well, dear sisters and brothers in Christ, fire can also present some dangerous circumstances for adults as well like we heard in the reading from the book of Acts for today, when the, the wind of the Holy Spirit fell on the first followers of Jesus, and, and then tongues of fire appeared. I'm sure that that was a bit of a scary experience, kind of like being in the path of a tornado or an oncoming locomotive. The power of God was unleashed. It was truly an awesome moment in the life of the world. But fire is also a word that can remind us of the power and the meaning of the Pentecost moment when the Holy Spirit gave birth to the church. That word, fire, it can also function as an acronym to remind us of, of some of the highlights of what Pentecost is all about. Fire, F-I-R and E. First of all, we have the letter F, which, which here stands for faithful, faithful. When the Holy Spirit fell on those first disciples at Pentecost, when, when that same spirit of life comes to us today at Pentecost moments through, through the word and the sacraments, we are reminded again and again that God is faithful. Jesus said that he would send us an advocate, a, a teacher, a helper. That, among other things, is what the Holy Spirit is. The Holy Spirit keeps, keeps Easter alive and real for us. The Holy Spirit keeps the risen Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ, with us forever. Indeed, Jesus promises the gift of the Holy Spirit and at Pentecost, Jesus delivers it. And the Holy Spirit helps us all to remember that we too are called in life to be faithful. You know, after the uh, rite of confirmation, we will present Jack Nelson and all for that matter who have gone through this period of intentional study in the Christian faith called confirmation with a hymnal. A hymnal like this one. It is the prayer book of the Lutheran Church, this red hymnal is. This book is a reminder that in our lives, that we are called to be faithful. We are called to be faithful in passing the faith we have been given unto others. Now, you've probably heard it said at times, don't drop the ball. Well, in this instance, God says, don't drop the book. Don't drop the book, don't drop the faith. And with the Holy Spirit's help, we are given assistance in keeping a good grip on faith. And knowing that Jesus in faith keeps a very good grip on us as well. Then we get the I from the word fire, and I stands for invitation, invitation. At Pentecost, God invited the early followers of Jesus into a life of service for the gospel. And in baptism, Jesus invites us all to embrace this abundant life of service as well. You know, we are also encouraged with this eye to ignite our invites. Ignite our invites. In other words, ministry is about finding ways in word and deed to be a, an inviting church. Yes, all are welcome in the church. This is most certainly true, but even more, we who are in the church, we need to find ways to invite others, 
to come and see Jesus, to come and experience his love. Indeed, the Spirit of Pentecost sends us out there into the world to do this holy and life-giving work. Next in fire comes the word R. And the R in fire reminds us that our role as Jesus' followers is all about relationships. Relationships. It starts at the cross. That cross back there is a reminder. It starts at the cross and it goes to the heart. That is in Jesus. God comes down to us in love and forms a relationship with each of us. And then we are called, we are empowered to be in relationships of love with our neighbor. We, we are called, dear sisters and brothers in Christ, to build community in Christ, wherever it is that we happen to be. And finally, the last letter in the word fire, the E. That stands for enthusiasm, enthusiasm. Indeed, if, if we really want energy for life, God at Pentecost comes to fill us up with the energy of the Holy Spirit. And, and this is literally what enthusiasm means. It means to be filled, filled with God's Spirit. Indeed, every breath that we take, it is a gift. It is a good gift and a reminder that without God and his presence in our lives, we are nothing. Indeed, life itself is impossible. I've heard how a noteworthy character on a TV show would regularly make the statement, You are fired. You happen to be the one that was hearing that statement. I sense that it was not too happy of a day. No, indeed. But dear sisters and brothers in Christ, this is a happy day, this day of Pentecost. It is a day filled with joy because we remember that the Holy Spirit comes not to fire us, but to fire us up, and indeed to hire us, to hire us for work in Jesus' name. This is the commission that we all receive at baptism. Jesus has picked us to be on his team. So Brother Jack and the rest of us who are hired and fueled by the fire of the Holy Spirit, are we ready? Are we ready to join the A team? The A team meaning the team of adult leaders in the community of faith. Sure we are. Yes, we certainly are. And Jesus needs us. And most of all, we need Jesus. And with the power of his Holy Spirit, with us now and forever, we remember that Jesus is here for us, both now and always. Amen.